How's it? I'm Jordan and today we are going to be making a tree in Blender. So what we're going to do is delete the default cube, go add, oh wait, yeah, what we need to do is go settings and go add curve. So you probably won't have this enabled, but you can just click the enable, add curve, sapling tree gen. So now I'm going to close my preferences, go add curve, sapling tree gen, and I and the lots of different settings. I think this is Calastrimon. I don't really know how to pronounce it. But there are lots of different settings, different types of trees. Small maple. So I'm going to keep this setting. Okay, I'm going to select the tree now. I'm just going to remove the little box there. So now I'm going to go convert a mesh because this was a curve. Now I'm going to, now what we need is some leaves. Okay, so what I do is mesh plane and go colon there. Now what I'm going to do is go K to use the knife tool, which we used in making a mini Mac and I'm just going to cut out the shape of a leaf. So I'm not actually going to make this stem because then the stems will stick out and won't look good. So I'll delete the outside and make this a uh, green color. I like a dark green and the reason why I can't see it is because you're in viewport. You need to look look dev mode and you get it. So I'll actually change this a little. So you change the settings. Good. That's the leaf shape. And remember it doesn't need to be high poly, it's quite low poly, it doesn't really matter. So I'll go if in F2 2 and change it from plain to leaf and you need need to change the name of the tree because we name default tree. So what I'm going to do is add a particle system now. So I'm going to go over to particle properties, go new, and because the default is emitter, that's what happened. So it'd be quite nice if this was crystal balls for Christmas tree. Except we're not making a Christmas tree. So what I'm going to do is go over to here and it's this weird mess. So what I'm going to do to control the mess is go on the x-axis, go tab, then go over to object data properties, go new vertex groups, make that leaf, good. And now what I'm going to do is change that to select circle. You can also do that by clicking W, by the way. Okay, now I'm going to go Alt Z and select the, all the parts where we want leaves. So I'm going to pause the video until I've finished. Okay, I've finished selecting it. Now I'm going to click Assign. Oh, they're a bit missing. Assign. And just to make sure I assigned it, go Select afterwards and good. So, there's still a huge mess, okay? So what we do is we go back to particle properties, open vertex group, change density to the leaf, and it looks about the same. So I'll actually change number to 2000. Open render and change path to object. And then I will choose leaf. And good, now we have tons of leaves. But we still want the tree texture. So you can obviously go new and change it, except there's a better way of doing it. Where we go is we go back to the viewport shading and change, go to the old Z with, to turn off toggle X-ray. Then we change studio to matte cap and change that to this dark brown texture. You can of course choose any of those you like that's a bark texture so this is fake texture right now and we want a real texture so what we do is pretty simple 
what we do is we change this base color, select that, and do the mm -hmm. eyedropper and make it this dark color. Good. Okay, now what we do is we go back to viewport shading and we get this. So I select my leaf and I will hide it, except that's hiding viewport. So we don't want to temporarily hide in viewport. So we open filter and change disable in viewport. No, no, not that. Oh, sorry. Um, I change that to disable in renders. Okay, there, there. Good. Now what we do is we want the ground texture. So I'm going to add a plane, go S to scale, go new, go image texture, and of course, basically open your image. Okay, I just opened my image, except the ground is much too big. Well, not too big, except the texture is much too large. And it's all pixely and horrible. So I, I go to, I go to UV editing workspace, go A, make sure there's an edit mode. I actually change this to look dev mode and scale it until it looks like a good scale. Oh, that looks good. Let's see, oh, good. Okay, now what we want is we want to go add mesh and UV sphere. So we're going to add the sky now. Very good. Now there's too low poly for my liking, so I'll go add modify subdivision surface. Make it too good, shade smooth, apply, go new, image texture. Now I'm going to open my HDR texture I got from Polygon. Okay, I opened the texture I got. So now I actually don't need the light because what we're going to do is we're going to go viewport render, which isn't going to render render image. It's a little different, except we'll get to that soon. So right now I'm just going to go view, camera to view, and you can see it's camera to view because that outline of the camera is all this red text, this red color. So now if we move it, as you can see, the camera moves too. So I'll just zoom out. Hmm, good. Okay, I'll actually scale this up so I get more space. Now scale this down. Good. Now I go view and Render viewport image or viewport render image, and voila, we have the tree rendered. Now, I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye bye.